Now we will download XAMPP server. Go to XAMPP website. This is a server which we will create MySQL database on it. This is the website of XAMPP Apache. We will download it for Windows here. And it start download now and we will wait until it finished the second website we will go BHP my admin download BHP my admin program go to BHP my admin and download there is download okay. and we will wait until it download and then start after downloading them is finished we will open it open run an administrator click yes let's click ok and uh, press next set up server for apache and the mysql server and filezilla file transfer and we also php my admin web laser and the fake send mail and press next press next to them next next okay let's return back to the setup after setup is finished press finish English save now XAMPP control panel is open we will start Apache server and we start will start MySQL server click start firewall okay allow access okay server Apache is working MySQL server allow access yes and mysql is also working here apache work in port 80 and mysql work in this board if if port 80 is occupied maybe by SQL server uh, if you install SQL server or some any other program use this port you will find here an error that port 80 is occupied so I explain in another video what is occupied port 80 it may be by stopping the service and stop the service that occupy port 80 I didn't install an SQL server here so it's work it will take port 80 okay now we will install BHB my admin we download it and we will open we will copy extract here and see create a folder name localhost okay and list and extract here okay after extraction okay uh, how can we change the location of server in them we can do this by from here first start Apache start my school then go to config here and Apache come down to this statement okay document root and change it from uh, them to c dot slash localhost and here the same okay and save and go there open them and go to Apache and config extra and in extra folder come to v hosts visual hosts and edit okay come here to visual host and it change it also document root to c localhost and c 
local host after you made this it you can save of course and you can open now uh, the brow your browser and call local host and it will open index file in your localhost folder let's try it again from here localhost and if we edit this file to, to be sure from c localhost and save it and refresh this page Okay, this is the same folder. Okay, thank you.